Applications should respect the user's device-wide preferences for appearance and accessibility. Ideally, apps will update their UI when settings change. In this video, we will discuss how to use built-in styles to work with the user's device settings. Operating systems let users choose some device-wide preferences. The most common setting is text size. Users would likely appreciate it if your app's UI incorporated their device-wide preferences and also updated those settings immediately when they change their preferences so no restart is necessary. Xamarin Forms gives you several predefined styles typically called built-in styles. The built-in styles are generated via code at startup. If the user changes their device-wide preferences, the styles are updated. The style objects are stored in device.styles. Styles is a class nested inside of the device class. This is mostly an implementation detail that you would rarely need to know. The built-in styles target the label class. The main goal is to let your app incorporate the user's choice for text size. The details of the built-in styles are subject to change and may vary by operating system. The device.styles class defines a string that identifies each of the built-in styles. These strings are important to know because you use them in your XAML to identify a built-in style. To apply a built-in style, you use dynamic resource and the value of the style key. Using static resource to attempt to access a built-in style will yield a runtime exception. Dynamic resource is required because these styles are generated via code and can change at runtime if the user changes their preferences. The base resource key is an alternative way to set the based on style and is required when working with a built-in style as your base. Base resource key lets you use a built-in style as a base. It performs a dynamic lookup which keeps the property value synchronized to the user's preferences. It is analogous to dynamic resource. It maintains a link to the underlying style. So when it's changed, the change propagates through to your derived style. You actually can't set based on to a dynamic resource because it's not a bindable property and style doesn't derive from bindable object. The use of base resource key isn't exclusive to built-in styles. You can use it with your own styles if needed. For example, suppose your base style was dynamically generated and it was not available at startup. Using based on won't work in this case since it only supports static resource. Another example would be if you wanted your base style to change dynamically. You could write code to remove or replace the base style in the dictionary. With base resource key, all your derived styles will automatically update when this happens.